Hi, today we're going to see how to create a long shadow glitch text effect in GIMP. So first I'm going to create a new image, go to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. And now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to leave the background layer here with the black color. Make sure to change the foreground color to white since I'm going to use the text tool. And the text is going to be with the white color. The font I'm using is Montserrat Heavy, the size is 300, and the spacing between letters is 100 pixels. And now left click here to create a new text box, and now I'm going to type my text. So here it is. Now select the Move tool, and now I'm going to move it here. And now I'm going to select the 3D Transform tool. So left click on the text here. So now I'm going to change the position here from from here so now I'm going to so here I'm going to decrease it a little bit like this I think I'm going to decrease it here to minus 100 minus 11 minus 11 and now for the y-axis I'm going to increase it to around 10 here and for the z-axis I'm going to increase it it's too much here to 10 and from this one it's going to be 11 so I think I'm going to leave it like this so well, I did too much here so 100 plus, uh, 11 plus enter I'm going to let's click here so I'm going to leave it like this and then click on transform and now right click the text here layer alpha to selection and now I'm going to create a new transparent layer click on this icon here so press OK. I'm going to duplicate this transparent layer. So I'm going to create two new, two other texts with other colors. So here. So for this one, I'm going to click on the foreground color, and then I'm going to type the HTML notation. So here is the color. This blue color. The HTML notation is 0 to C 9 E F. So press OK. Now I'm just going to drag it here like this. So here it is. And now I'm going to hide this one and then click on the eye icon to show the other transparent layer. So I'm going to click the foreground color and then I'm going to select this pink color. The HTML notation is FF3378. Press OK. And now I'm just going to drag the color like this. So here it is. And now I'm going to remove this selection. So go to select none. So here are the text we have. So, so now I'm going to name this one pink, pink one, double click here on the name, I'm going to name this one blue, press enter, and this one, let's name it white, so here, press enter, and now I'm going to place the white layer on top here, all the layers, the pink one is going to be right under the white, and the blue one is the one under the pink and white so here it is and now select the pink layer I'm going to add a long shadow to it so go to the filters light and shadow long shadow so for this one I'm going to leave it to 45 and here I'm going to decrease the length because it's a little bit too much so I think I'm going so select click on the game window press the plus key on keyboard to zoom in so I think I'm going to leave it here, press OK, and then select the blue layer, go to filters, and now I'm going to add another long shadow. So just click on reshow long shadow. And for this one, so left click here to select the blue color we used. So here it is, the HTML notation is 02C9EF, press OK. The style I'm using is finite, so here are settings. And now I'm going to change the direction. So here, like this, so I'm going to decrease the length. So for the length, I'm going to leave it here, like this. So just here, click on the GIMP window, press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in. Try to make a straight shape here to make it like look like it's 3D. So here like this, so press OK, 
and now select the pink layer this one here so now I want just the blue shadow here the blue text here to be behind the white text here I don't want the pink one so I'm going to remove this part this part so select the eraser tool so here are settings so I'm going to change the brush to the hard brush this one here so now make sure you're on the pink layer so I'm going to remove for example this part here I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to remove this one here so now press the minus key in your keyboard to zoom out so now I'm going to merge down these three text layers here so I'm going to click on the eye icon here for the background so click on this icon here and then click a second time so here it is and now you can still for example scale the layer so here press enter keep control key down here while scanning to scale it proportionally and then you can still add some noise so right click alpha to selection to make selection of the text click on the icon here to create a new transparent layer so here it is and now I'm going to fill this selection with black so here it is and now while the selection is active go to filters noise CIE noise and then decrease the chroma all the way down and then press OK and now I'm just going to change this layer mode here to screen so it won't show the black color it will just show so press plus in your keyboard to zoom in so here's the noise and now you can reduce the opacity here to reduce the effect so here it is press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out and then go to select none to remove the selection so here it is so now just right click on the top one new from visible so here it is that's how you can create a long shadow glitch text effect in game thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time